Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use the .xsd file, which is basically the XML schema file, and import that into Excel, and that would be your template to create data that can be imported into the file input mechanism. There's about five steps. The first step is uh, obviously use Excel, and you would open that and have the developer menu available. The second is you would tag your XSD file as the source. You would set up your columns from that XML schema file, enter data into the appropriate columns, and then finally export the data into the XML file to be used for file input. So let's go ahead and begin. I believe I have the XML file here, so we will go ahead and use the Excel. So you can see I have the developer menu item. I will click the source and I will use the schema file as my example. And we will look for that right here. Let's add the schema file. I will use sales planned import dot XSD and that will be my schema template. Okay, so now we have a window on the right hand side. And you will see basically if we scroll down a little bit further, most of the data information will start around here underneath the message header. The actual information is here in this list. Okay. So the object was actually called sales plant. We'll just go over here and drag all these columns into the second row. Okay. All right. You'll see that basically now each column will have the attribute or the columns from that business object. Now, there is a key piece of information that I have left the first row for, and that is the creation name. So we scroll up in the message header. We have the creation date and time. And we will tag that over to here. Okay. So A1 becomes your creation date and time that you will um, need to update in your XML file. With the XML source, um, we've already created. Now let's do some minor cleanup. There's always these schema IDs, which may or may not be relevant, but I find that they're not generally needed. So we'll just delete a few of these schema IDs. So let's go ahead and enter a few rows and then we'll go ahead and export it afterwards. So my key, so period, maybe 2014.01. Do some um, basic data here. All right, now that we've entered some sample rows, rows, we'll go ahead and export that out as data. So really, file input uh, really uses the XML file. It does not import the Excel file directly, so be careful of that difference. Okay. So we'll just 
just go ahead and export and we will just basically call this code and xml already tagged as that type go ahead it's already exported okay so i will go to my other screen and bring it up in notepad plus and let's ignore that message so sorry go no. so really what we've done is all the data that we've entered here in Excel now shows up as an XML file. Now, remember what I just said a while ago about your creation date. You just have to do some minor massaging and put in a creation date time stamp uh, that you will need for your uh, doing the input. So it follows a certain format. Um, um, I have to uh, research what it is uh, or, or look at my old files, uh, but it follows a certain format with the creation date time. Um, but really, that encapsulates all that you need to know of how to create your own XML file using Excel. And so let me go back to what I had planned to show you. So basically, in about the space of a few minutes, I've gone through and shown you all five steps. So I hope you'll find this video useful and, um, and tag it as such. Thank you very much.